You found a new person that you've begun to date and think you finally found someone who is really into you and was worth the wait. However, you're noticing a change of late. They say you failed to do something to help them and it's time for them to set things straight. You begin an apology, but they twist your words. They're very good at it to the point it's beginning to get on your nerves. If they're unhappy, they'll bring in others to accuse you. You'll start questioning yourself, losing your self-esteem as the onslaught ensues. They've gotten into your head. They are in control. Shame on you for not noticing this earlier and letting go of this poor soul. You then began training the Stoicist to overcome your shame. And as time passed by, you came to understand their game. Now, when faced with such individuals in a professional or personal relationship, you ignore their childish behavior and let them sit on their perch and chirp. For you know they're using an old tool many have newly adopted in the world of today. It's control of another, that mental game being played to keep you at bay. And to overcome, you follow the Bible's words that everyone should be quick to listen and slow to speak. It takes great willpower to implement, but it's now your new technique. Your mind immediately interprets the words they speak because you listen more. And those few whom you've selected as trusted friends know you well and will stand up for you ever more. So, the adage of the blind leading the blind no longer applies to thee. You look them eye to eye and stand as firm as an old oak tree. I'm Lori Stiff, the Stoicist, your Christian life coach, and I believe in you. If you like what you mentally now see, join my website to learn and think like me at stoicmatchmaker.com.